Hi, welcome to Contemporary Tarot. I'm Madeline, and this session is a little bit different. It has been inspired by a recent trip my husband and I took to the Art Institute in Chicago. And uh, it was not that long ago, but it feels like ages. But anyway, uh, we had a wonderful day. And um, as we were wandering the galleries, uh, I began to look at the paintings with um, through the context of looking at um, for tarot um, imagery or parallels or themes and kind of thinking of tarot as I experienced the paintings. And uh, it really informed my visit and it really uh, kind of gave me additional insight into different cards. So what I'm going to do is just toss out some impressions I had um, of different paintings that um, I kind of connected with different cards. Uh, now this was a very, this is very personal, sort of a shoot from the hip, first impressions I had. Um, I decided to like look at the painting and not even looking at the description or the title until after I kind of had uh, let the image and the painting affect me. So um, here we go. So uh, first off, I'm going to start off with uh, The Banquet by Rene Magritte. And um, I'm going to say this about all the paintings. This is a gorgeous painting. And uh, obviously, I think looking at it, we can all agree that the image of the sun dominates this painting. And um, while there is a vibrant sun, there's also a parallel with the, the sun card is there's a wall, there are plants, in this case, there are trees. Um, but the sun is a very intense sun. And it reminded me that while the sun can be pretty and yellow, it's also a force. It claims big space. The sun and its uh, intensity and its intensity cannot be denied. And uh, really that it, there are many different aspects to how something can be hot and big and healing and lush. Uh, the next painting I'm gonna uh, dig into is, uh, it is Broken and Restored Multiplication by Suzanne Duchamp. And I correlated this painting with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we have a profusion of elements sort of circling each other. There's language and there's like planets and the math of money and astronomy. Um, and there is a great sense of movement in this painting as there is a sense of movement in the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the next painting is, I might say this wrong, a colo by uh, Victor Bronner. And when I first looked at this, it struck me as being uh, very similar to The Magician, with uh, there are a myriad of elements and a colorful and powerful composition. The hands are prominent. Um, there's a sense of joy, of mastery, of creativity. There is a vividness to it. Uh, and then looking at it uh, further, I thought it could also par be a parallel with The Fool as there is a figure striding forward. There is a prominent dog in the picture, this one on top of the figure, and uh, sort of a sense of leaping forward with all of this in one's being. Uh, so just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the next one um, is Picasso's Mother and Child. Uh, this is clearly to me an empress. And I like with this is that in um, some of the tarot decks, you just have the empress. Um, in this painting, you have the empress, the mother, with her child, with what she's produced, and, and actually nurturing and being very at ease. And um, in a sense, her whole world is what she's produced. Um, the next painting is The Earth is a Man by Mata. And this painting blew me away. It's huge. And um, what really struck me, and this is a very complex painting and it would be lovely if you could ever come see it, is 
there are like these two kind of glowing figures in, in the middle of the painting, but they're just surrounded by this profusion of complex elements. And oftentimes with the world, I talk about um, there being a lot of elements and drawing boundaries. And but in this painting, there's sort of an encouragement to just enjoy the bounty of the world and being in the middle of it and letting it transform you. And when you look at every corner of this painting, there's something different to look at. And I think there's a call to let the world affect you as much as you affect the world. And I'm wrapping up with Dali's vision of eternity. And this is to me boldly very similar to the death card. You have a gateway, you have a skeleton in the upper left corner carrying a flag. Um, there's a towering image with no discernible characteristics like similar to the skeleton in the, um, in the card. Uh, in the armor, there's a distant vista, and the two beings at the bottom representing impending birth, um, coming transformation, but having just moved through the gateway of, um, of death, that precise moment. So those were just my reactions and thoughts as I walked through the museum. And there were some other paintings, it was just too much to share. Uh, but right now also, many museums are putting uh, their collections online, digitally. So I, in your tarot study, I encourage you to, to go to all these sites and, um, and try this. It's fun, it's satisfying, it's a different way of approaching the um, imagery and archetypes. I do wanna let you know, there are a lot of emperors once you get into like the Renaissance and things like that because people paid for portraits to be painted and those tend to be uh, rich guys. So <laughs> you might come across more than one emperor. Uh, so yeah, give it a try and um, share your thoughts and feedback in the, in the comment section. And thanks for visiting. I'll see you soon.